And I'm Michaela. We pride ourselves with bringing you the latest intermediate school news. Mrs. Jones' social studies classes was studying about ancient India. The ancient India were the first uh, ones to invent yoga. So the first picture would be the mo more traditional pose. This is the pose where you sit for long periods of time and just meditate and internalize your thoughts. The other poses are more modern yoga. Yoga of, yoga of today has become more like exercise, with poses like the warrior and the triangle. The kids were challenged to try it for five days to see how they liked it and to see if they saw many differences in their lives. We have breaking news about a new contest. There will be a drawing contest of Mr. Gaffney. Let's go to Mrs. Lycan and Katie for more information. Come here, Katie! <laughs> hey, Katie! We yeah? should tell everybody about this cool art contest. Okay. Draw Mr. Gaffney in. Yeah. So you better get the, all those pictures in by May 12th. Who they turn them into? You. Thank you. I can't believe that the winner from each grade level will get an actual 3D figure to make their own drawing on. Remember, the winner from each grade level will get an actual 3D figure to make the drawings on. Make sure to stop down to the table outside the locker room to get your paper to enter. Entries are due May 12th to Mrs. Lincoln. Hi, I'm Nathan. And I'm Estiana. We want to welcome Mr. Gaffney <coughs> in the WBIL studio to talk about the new challenge, the obstacle course. And also if he would be willing to compete against a team of students. Me. Thank you, Mr. Gaffney, for coming in today. You're welcome. We would like to add the to the obstacle course challenge. We want to have a student team to compete compete against you in the obstacle course. Hmm. So my choice is an obstacle course and have students compete against me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Sounds fair. But I want a team also. Alright. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Made of mm -hmm. faculty and staff. Yeah. Okay, then I'm okay with it. I have a challenge for you guys. We've been struggling to get to our 12,000 coins. So I was thinking if we can get to 14,000 coins, every student in the school we we'll able to do the obstacle course. What do we think? Sounds like we accept. We accept. Okay, perfect. It's a challenge. Thank you, Mr. Gaffney, for coming in today. You're welcome, guys. Good luck with the coins. This is going to be so much fun. I wonder what the obstacles are going to be and how I can be on a team. Let's have Mrs. Larkin and Mrs. Walter. <coughs> Come tell us now. I bet no 
and wondering how to be on the team for the students that will go against Mr. Gaffney's team with all the faculty and staff members. Ms. Larkin can show you what you're going to have to do. All of your homeroom teachers will have these in their mailboxes to hand out to you. You fill them out, you can pick three activities, some are physical, some are silly, and you're going to write why you think you'd be good at those. But what's an example of a physical one? Well, some are a little more intense, like jumping from trampoline to trampoline. Some are going through a tunnel. Also, we have a playground obstacle that you'll have to complete. That's just some of the physical ones. How about the silly ones? Uh, the silly ones, almost anybody can do if you're brave. Some of them might be eating something without your hands. Some of them might be uh, solving a math problem. Some of them might be doing a tongue twister. Who knows? You'll have to look on the sheet and, and find out what ones. But we really want a lot of kids to try out for this. Yeah, we look forward to seeing your guys' entries and why you think you'd be good at those activities. So we're giving you the next two weeks. So in three weeks, you will find out who is going to be on Team, Team Raiders. So get your entries in. You can put them in the gold box in front of the office. The box will be ready for your entries as soon as this is up. So please enter. Yeah, we're looking forward to you guys beating Team Gaffney. So you need to pick up the reading, reach those math coins, goals, and show value, inspiration, and leadership. We, we need coins. coins. The coin count is up next. We will start our coin count with 8,896 coins turned into the basket in the office. The coin count for this week is 114 gold coins, 36 red coins, and 45 blue coins turned in, making a total of 195 coins for this for the week. That's a total of 9,120 coins. Our new goal is 12,000 coins. We need 2,880 to reach it in this last marking period. And 4,880 to reach the 14,000 coin mark. So turn in the coins. Get moving, guys. We need coins or we won't have an obstacle course. This brings an end to our broadcast this morning. Please remember to read, 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 and reach for those math goals. Don't forget to find value in everything you do. Be an inspiration to others and be a leader. This, this is WVIL wishing you an adventure. WVIL!